Hello today! And today we're going to have a game of Angle Ball, this time for the Sinclair ZX Spectrum. Now it came out in 1987 by Mastertronic, so it would have been a budget game, but it's only a 48k version. 87 or the 1 to 8k would have been out about two years at this point. Okay, never mind about that. Right, now I have reviewed this on the CPC and Commodore 64. I thought the CPC version looked nicer than the Commodore 64, but they both played pretty well. So what is Angle Ball? So it's basically similar to Paul, but the table looks completely different. <laughs> um, so they was really doing their own thing here, but you know, I thought it was pretty good. You know, it's good to have an imagination to take, have a little take on something and make it something different, you know. Right, so we've got options here, right, one player, two player, right, player versus computer, frame designer, I think you can place balls on the table where you want it, um, control options, right, let's have a look at that, so we'll push five, so we have Kempston, you can use keyboard if you want and redefine your keys, but we'll just have Kempston, and let's put it on three, player versus computer and let's start the game novice right well, hang on push him what right okay type in your name like oh my goodness <laughs> color clash up there look at that right yeah that looks quite bad with the color clash can't even see the numbers. Well, what? Oh, at least they've um, at least the eight balls out the up way. So okay. So it looks a little bit messy with the balls, but I think it has a similar look to the Commodore 64 version. Right. So you can you push your fire button. Hang on a minute. I didn't even. Oh, I have lined it. Have I? I don't know. Right. You can adjust the spin if you want, or you can just. Push it up again and take the shot. Here we go. Oh, I've got a ball in. Right, here we go. Here's your cross. Uh, let's just go for a, a whack. See what happens. Oh, the four's... No, it didn't. Okay. Now the computer should have its turn. Um, how this works is unusual. You don't actually f finish off the table. I think you have a, a limited amount of shots. Whoever gets the most points, um, it, it tells you, then it goes on to the next frame. Right, it's, the computer's still playing, still taking its shot, rather. Right. So this come out on the CPC, Commodore 64, and obviously the Spectrum. I think there's an MSX version. Oh, you know that's going to be a port of the Spectrum. <laughs> but the CPC wasn't a port of the Spectrum. It was. I'd definitely go to say that was the best looking version. Right. Okay. I mean the balls they've done they have done some sort of effort here, you know, at least the balls look like balls. Um Commodore 64 version just look quite bland. At least they've done made some sort of effort here. Even though the colour clash is quite well, you're gonna to have to expect that. Right, so the computer's taking its turn. Right, here we go. Right, don't want to get the eight ball in. Let's have a go at getting the four ball in. Ain't gonna work. Give it maybe a little bit of spin. I don't know if that's gonna work. I should have gave it a little bit of side spin. I don't know. Oh no. Yeah, well, at least we got some colour here on the spectrum using the. Uh, but yeah, it, that, there is a bit of colour clash, but you, you probably would have expected that anyway. 
Uh, only a 48k version. Oh, right, when it plays that little jingle, it means you've this is up. You've done this. It's a tie. No one wins. So now it takes you to the next frame. So I think the computer's starting first. Oh. Right, okay, I think I can get that one ball in, maybe. Saying that, probably won't. Right, let's give it full whack. Okay, got that in. Hey, I push fire, okay. Oh, oh, that was, ah! It's a little bit slow. When the ball's, it's a little bit slow. I can't remember the, the, the CPC was a little. If any, that was a bit quicker. I think it was. Obviously, the Commodore 64 was. I'd say that was the fastest and the smoothest. Oh, come on! Oh! I can get that four ball in. Alright, okay, see if we can get the four ball in. Right, got the four ball in. Right, maybe I can, I doubt very much I'm going to get that in. Oh, fuck it! Missed it! Missed it! Right, so that's... I won that frame. Right, so I'll get to go first on this. So let's see if I can just... Yes! Let's try that again. <laughs> oh. Yep! <laughs> Right, let's try that again. Oh, the ball's pretty close now. Well, that worked. Uh, I'm going to get that in now. Oh, oh, did I touch it? So it's the computer's turn. Oh, it didn't get it in. Right. Oh, 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 go, 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 go. oh, didn't give it enough power. At least I touched the ball. Oh, what's that? Bit weird. Okay, it is on novice on computer level, so it does tend to make mistakes. Oh. Oh yes. Right, well, can I get this in? I want to touch that black. Right, I think I won that frame. Okay, you have won this frame. I don't know how many frames it goes on, but we'll make this one the last one because this will go on too long. But yeah, it's all right on the. It's all right on the. Um, Spectrum. It's definitely got more colour than the Commodore 64 version. It does look nicer on the on the Spectrum over the Commodore 64. Amstrad CPC version looks the best, though. Mainly makes me think if that was originally programmed on the CPC. Uh, you know, it plays fine. It plays fine on the Spectrum. It's a little bit slower, but then again, the CPC version weren't that quick either. It's all right, you know, it's not bad. Budget title, got to remember that. So, for a budget title, yeah. Oh shit, I missed that one because I was going for the two ball. It's a different take on pool, you know, it's doing its own thing. You can play two players, you can play the computer, you can play it by yourself, you can um, rearrange the balls so you want them, so you can create your own, um, what's the word, 
set up, I guess. Um, so yeah, for a budget title, you got quite a bit for your money. Two ninety nine. I'm guessing it would have been two ninety nine. Yeah, I do. I do prefer the CPC version out of all the versions I've played so far. It just it just feels that was originally done for the CPC, and the uh, Commodore sixty four and the Spectrum version were just quick versions. Especially the Commodore sixty four version. Come on. Oh yes. Give it a whack. Oh right. So that's it. That's who won that then. It's a tie. No one wins. Okay, we'll leave it there because I think it just goes on and on and on. Yeah, it's not bad on the spectrum. It's not bad at all. It, uh, Color clash, but that's um, that happens in a lot of games, so it's not a lot you could do about the color clash unless they make the balls monochrome. Then could have got away with it because the balls are numbered. But if you can deal with the color clash, it's not really a problem, is it? Um, yeah, it's playable, it's definitely playable on the spectrum. It it looks all right, I'll say it, def it definitely looks better than the Commodore 64 version, um, but. Yeah, play. I think it's a lot. It is a lot smoother and quicker on the Commodore 64. Um, I thought the CPC version was the best version, though. I think it it looked like it was made originally for the CPC and Spectrum and the Commodore 64 versions were just, you know, quick. Just all oh, right. We want a Commodore 64 and a Spectrum version now. Can we quickly do it? Okay, we can do it. I don't know who did it. Probably some other programmer. But 2.99. Yep, it's worth 2.99. Anyway, going to end this now. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, and goodbye.